Good afternoon, dear viewers. I'm happy to welcome you on Savol Mash channel. This is Alexander Sudarev, and today we will continue a series of videos about creating an electric armored vehicle. We are in the winding area of Savol Mash, and now work with motors is in full swing here. Motors that will be installed in the armored vehicle. There will be one motor on each wheel. Let's see how it is done. The donor is the motor of series IEUR 100. It is quite a good series. It was shown in some of our videos. We tested motors of different series. We measured their characteristics. And then the results were really good and this motor of Soviet development proved to be very effective and we are satisfied with the results. Ayur means Asynchronous International Russia. A means Asynchronous. It is a unified series. And R means that capacity is linked to the size, to the dimensions, according to the cost, according to Russian standards. It was not a random choice, so let's have a look. One motor is standard, nothing has been done on it, no changes. And this is the motor which was modernized using the technology of combined winding Slavanka. This is what it looks like at the end. So what is the sequence of work in terms of motors? I will tell you about that and cameraman will visualize it for you. Initially the donor, the motor is dismantled. All windings are removed. The junction box is removed in our case. And then there are calculations. Calculations are made. Electromagnetic scheme is calculated. It is already done. And then the motor is to be filled with basic isolation. The iron parts remain standard in this particular case. And after that, coils are wound in an automatic way. And then sections are made of them. And windings are put there on the working place behind me. After it has been realized, after it has been completed, the motor is to be covered with varnish. Such outputs are prepared. They're quite voluminous, quite big. So the standard junction box will not fit. In our case, we will use the enlarged one. We pack all of it together, transition plates are manufactured if needed, and then as an output we get the motor which satisfies our needs in terms of creating a step-by-step -step hybrid of our electric armored vehicle. It all sounds quite simple. However, in practice, the task is not trivial and it takes quite a lot of time and different specialists work on it. After the motor has been made, it goes through testing in our testing laboratory. All characteristics are taken, are measured, they are compared with estimations and then if results are satisfactory, this motor and the other ones which are waiting to be used they get prepared for further mounting. Well, I don't think that we will go deeper in the topic. It is just a very brief video from the fields. We tell you about what is going on here. Follow our social networks, subscribe to the channel and more interesting information is there for you. See you soon.